Good morning, YouTubers. RV Debs here with you. I hope you're all doing well. I am. I'm doing pretty good today. It's, um, what time is it? It's about one in the afternoon and it's 94 degrees. At least that's what it says in the car. Anyway, I'm off to the post office. I have, um, three packages that are going off. So I'm going to tell you now that, um, Diane, Deborah, and Dawn, your packages are going to be on their way. So let's go. It's a very quick drive to the post office. Those are the good things about living in a small town. You know, it's real easy to say, you just need to go to a bigger place and you need to do this and you need to do that. And I know there's lots of different ways to live and this is where I'm at. There's not much I can do about it. And I'm not wearing my seatbelt for the short trip. Living in a small town, though, the post office is... Look, I'm turning on this little side street here right behind my house. I go maybe one, two, three, three blocks, and I'm at the post office. <laughs> I'm feeling a little better today, which is a good thing. I made myself a necklace last night. Yeah, I've been bringing beads in and making a couple things, not too much, but at least I can do it inside when I really want to. The big difference for me about working in the garage or working in my house is that I have to decide exactly what I need and then gather it all together and then bring it in the house, which usually I never know what I'm gonna do till I sit down. Or what I'm gonna grab. Well, I'm already at the post office so you can see how fast that was and um, I'll be back in a few minutes. That's quick and I'm done and all three of you will get your packages Thursday. Okay I've gotten mail call. Okay let me read this one let's see. That's cool. Okay, well there's uh, like a postcard and it's just someone who says, hey Deb, and I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to read the message, but hey Deb, blah, 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 um, I, they, they enjoy my channel and will stop by on my way to Arizona next spring. Cool. How cool is that? Love it. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. A little another one this is this is from Chuck in, in uh, New Hampshire let's see what Chuck sent that makes me so happy to to hear people are gonna stop by and just it's it's pretty neat pretty cool I can get this out of the package here. Oh my. Uh, okay, this is from Chucky, and the card says, some people pursue happiness, others create it, and you bring it into the life of others. Thank you, your friend Chuck. That is so sweet. Chuck can close some money. Oh my gosh, Chuck, thank you so much. I'm gonna keep this for um, my trip. I'm gathering, I'm like a little squirrel right now so that when I go to San Antonio, I'll be able to enjoy it and you know spend a little money and have some fun. Thank you. You are so, I just love you. You're such a good guy. Okay, I check I love your card. It's really sweet.
he says that he wishes he, he could come and have a dinner with me and enjoy my company. And he said he immediately thought of me when he saw this card. And a little dinner on Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. I will definitely be using this. Oh my gosh, you know, when I'm feeling kind of low, and then I come to the post office and I find a card, um, a postcard, a card, a package, doesn't matter what it is, it lifts my spirits. It really does lift my spirits. Thank you. Oh my gosh, the kindness. Oh. And the lady in the, in the uh, post office, Lois, her name is, well, you can always get cash back, you know, when you're paying for the postage. She always says, do you want any cash back? And sometimes I do, because I don't really um, have a need for too much cash in town. But it's good to have cash on, so I'll, you know, sometimes I'll say $20 or whatever. And I thought about it, because I am sort of like trying to, you know, I have a couple weeks left. What is it? Today's the 5th. I have 15 days. I, be I believe it on the 20th. 21st actually so I'm just sort of stashing some cash you know $20 here $20 there so that when I get on the road I've got a little money in my pocket plus I've got my ATM card of course so um, that is just wow you know that's a surprise thank you Chuck thank you Maddie love it well, that just brightened my day. And I always, when I go to mail a package, I think, should I should I check my post office box? Because sometimes there's nothing in it. And sometimes there's something in it. I love it. I feel good. I really do. So maybe right now what I'm going to do is just take a ride. Put my seatbelt on because I'm going to drive a little further away than than just home. my days let's see here okay not that there's anywhere to go in particular but it's a pretty ride actually towards Benjamin I got gas I got everything I need Check out that. Let me turn the, the, the camera around. See that building right there? That's an old city hall. Look how old it is. I don't think it's used anymore. We have a regular newer building in um, downtown Knox City. Okay, I'm heading, heading out of town. This is um, a direction I don't normally go to, go in actually. Once in a while. So it's 12 miles to Benjamin. 41 miles to Kroll. I don't think I've ever been there, no. Okay, so as we leave, this speed picks up. <sighs> it feels so good to get mail. I'm just so I'm tickled. And, and I sold my tulip pick painting this today, this morning, I guess it was. 75 mile an hour is what the speed limit is. So I am uh, just going to take a little drive, maybe, you know, spend an hour out, out and I'll be happy to go home and, yeah, be, be with my dogs. 96 degrees right now, it says. I think there's like a, a river crossing up here. Let's see. I think I'm going to play tourist. Actually go and get out of the car and do something. This 
is the Brazos River. It's probably dry. A couple months ago, we had so much rain, I'm sure it was full. Let's see. Okay. Actually, getting out and walking in 100 degree weather but you know what? You guys are worth it. I try not to move the camera bad, but I am walking with just, just my cell phone. Brazos River. I can't even see what the camera's looking at. This bridge was constructed in 1938 to 1939 to replace a 1901 bridge and provide crossing over the Brazos River. Located on Highway 6. Of course, it's no longer use in use. <clears throat> Is there any water around this bridge? <laughs> Looks dry. I think it is dry. We need rain again. Looks, oh, there's a little bit of water. Not much. Boy, it's hot. Yep. And I feel it. It's hot. See it down there? <laughs> yeah, we need some rain again. <clears throat> Our out. Quiet. It's hot. <laughs> I know I said that a million times. An old bridge. Yeah, I feel it burning on my shoulders. Okay. At least I stopped. Wow. This will be nice in the autumn. I'll come back. Well, that was an interesting stop. A little, a little too hot on my shoulders. Because I, uh, I can't handle that, but it's not bad. Like to walk the whole bridge, but I I'm not up for it at the moment. But that's okay. At least I went and did something. <laughs> Whew, hope you enjoyed it. I did. I will come back there when it's cooler and really, you know, that's a good place to walk actually, and it's very scenic. 
I can imagine how much more water there was in spring when we were getting flooded everywhere. That river runs a long ways. license and my tags to Texas tags is where I came. Which is in that building. This is like the, the main center, I guess, of Benjamin. There's a, a museum here. open today but this is a really cool little store looks like Mondays are closed but they got a lot of cool stuff in there I've seen it because they do a lot of Facebook commercials too Santa Fe on the Santa Fe on the Brazos boutique You know, as it gets cooler, I'm going to come back and go all kinds of places. got back in the truck. Hooey! So I got a cup of ice and a iced espresso. Salted caramel mocha, so it's basically a um, milkshake -y coffee thing, I think. I don't know. Never had one before. So, whew, I'm glad I, I went out today because it really does Delicious. It's like a meal. Okay. Got one 
hoard and some for later. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this little uh, spur of the moment trip. Thanks for uh, always coming along with me. You guys, I just, my channel's so important to me. I really love it. Even when I'm down in the dumps, <laughs> it's not that bad. I just share my moods. I'm in much better frame of mind today, which is good. I don't stay down too long because that's kind of a waste, a waste of life, really. So I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, enjoy my drink and start getting back. going to head back home. I'll talk to you when I get there. Okay. I'm refreshed. And I'm ready to get on the road again. This is my pre-road trip getaway. It's not so bad, you know. I'm going to be on the road to go to San Antonio for over five hours. I don't know how long. It's supposedly about something like five hours. And a half. Probably by the time I'm stopped and here and there, it'll be up to six hours. One of my subscribers, uh, a husband and wife, have invited me to uh, do some sightseeing and possibly, uh, you know, have a meal together. And I'm hoping that I can arrange that because I'm only going to be there two nights. But maybe we'll see how how it goes and how much money I have. Maybe I'll spend an extra night because I would like to go to Riverwalk and I would like to see the Alamo. And they're talking about Market Square. And that would be awesome to spend and, and have a chance to get to know a couple of people. So, we'll see. Maybe it'll uh, be an extra night. I might move my hotel um, the, the last night closer to downtown area. So, I'm, you know, closer to those attractions. Because where I'm staying is close to SeaWorld. Which is probably not exactly, you know, close to anything. But it's close to the house concert. And, uh, and that's the, that was the main reason why I picked that location. Okay, well anyway, so there's some things looking up. I mean, it's like I might might wind up uh, enjoying my sh myself in San Antonio more than I thought. It's a very pretty day. I must admit. And my iced coffee espresso is delicious just cooled me down and I don't get ice cubes because I don't have a room in my freezer for ice so whenever I get a chance to have ice in my drink it's it's very refreshing and it's like a treat in itself I hope that all of your start of the week out there all you all you wonderful people are having a good Monday when you're retired it really doesn't matter what day it is actually they all melt into each other Who's there? Chase and Tanny drinking my iced coffee. So say hi to everybody. Hi. This is really good. It is good, isn't it? How you doing, Chase? You having a good summer? It just tastes like chocolate. It's not though, but it's kind of got like. It just tastes like 
a chocolate Yeah, but it's espresso. You know it's caramel? It's like caramel Mine, caramel. the rest. So you know all these what people kind of that watch cake? your video and watch yeah, my video? Well, yeah. They say, I really yeah, think Tanny's cute. He's And he is famous. But you're not famous. Say you're just a nice little boy. I am famous too. Okay. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. There's Nadia over there and Kathy. Um, Thank you for complimenting. Oh, that's sweet. You're welcome. I'm sure everybody appreciates that. Okay, well, I just thought I would show you. I was visiting over here. Don't forget. I'm famous. <laughs> what do you tell the people at the end of the video? Thank you. For and what? Don't forget. Well, oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, leave comments. Or should they? Uh, yes, leave comments. And, and watch your daddy and mommy's video, too. Yes, watch my video. What's the name my of their videos? Dork Poor Outdoors. No, Fa it's DP. No, 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 you tell them, Chase. DPO Family Vlogs. Okay. What? Well, it, it, it's called DPO Family Vlogs now. It's easier for people. So, see you on there, right? Also, it's called Dirt Poor Outdoors. That's what DPO stands for. Yeah. Bye. Bye.